struggling to find something to be thankful for this season? Well, here it sits. Welcome, my friends! Welcome once again to the Gaming Galleon. I'm Captain Raz. Nothing special about me. Look, I just kind of happened into the ship. Okay? Strange twist of fate has put me in the captain's seat of a century or more old pirate ship that I filled and continue to fill with video games. Yeah. Yeah. How about that, huh? Pirates and video games. I heard a guy say to me, uh, yeah, your show, uh, you gotta like pirates. Are you out of your mind? You don't gotta like pirates to like the game in Galleon. You gotta like video games. Maybe more. Maybe less. But you certainly don't just have to like pirates. There's a lot going on here. There's a lot going on under the hood here on the old gal. This is a very different, uh, this is unprecedented for, uh, for the old ship. We've been sailing around the world with it and beyond for years. We've sailed on it on many different days. In April, in October, in July, all throughout the year, even now, in the balmy month of November. However, however, my friends, we have never set out for a destination on this, the day of thanks for the United States. Thanksgiving, arguably one of the biggest holidays. I'd put it in the top three, certainly the top five, certainly. But you know us Americans, or maybe you don't, we find any excuse uh, to, uh, you know, shirk off responsibilities. This day, however, we're actually not at home with our families. We're not eating. We're not giving thanks around the table. We're not giving passive-aggressive comments and snide remarks to one another. No, no. Myself and a skeleton crew of other shipmates who simply could not make it home to their families this year decided to embark on a grand adventure. This voyage was actually planned for two days prior, but because of uh, unforeseen circumstances, we found ourselves with nothing to do on this holiday. Myself in particular, and since I'm the captain, well, sometimes I get to pull some strings or at least use my God-given talents and passive aggression to get my way. So, what we've done for you today is we've staved off our day of comfort for a day of adventure. And for any of you out there who happen to be having a Thanksgiving a little bit different this year. Hopefully this can give you a moment or two of enjoyment. Where are we today? Well, we are not far from Indianapolis, arguably. Depends on where you are. Indianapolis is where the Gaming Galleon docks when it's not on adventures. We find ourselves on the east coast of the United States and New England in Cape Cod Bay, just along the coast, about 14 minutes south of Boston by car in a legendary town called Plymouth Rock. And if you don't know anything about the myth of Plymouth Rock, and it is a myth, it is said that the pilgrims came all the way from England in a boat over six weeks to shore 
They didn't land on Pym Plymouth Rock first, however, believe it or not. They landed in Provincetown, which is now known in the Cape Cod area. They stopped there. I don't know if they were gassing up. Who knows? But they decided to go from there to the Hudson River. The storm took them. The next thing you know, they start heading south. And they're like, I don't know what that is, but it's not water. And lo and behold, that's where they ended up, Plymouth Rock. And let me tell you something, another myth. Believe it or not, they didn't get there and say, well, here it is. We've, had the, we've been mulling on this name for months. That's it, Plymouth Rock. No, believe it or not, they never called it that. That's all a myth, too. Plymouth Rock wasn't even identified until 120 years later by some parishioner. He took all of his uh, followers down to the water, claimed that this was the where the pilgrims uh, were. And then he started crying. That was enough to co corroborate it, apparently. The rest is history. Does any of this matter? No, not really. Not really. I don't know. Thanksgiving, holidays in general, for me, they're not about celebrating the history or, or anything. It's all about the traditions for me. You know, it's not about the thinking about what happened uh, 400 years ago. By the way, it's 400 years ago to the year. This year, 2020. The Pilgrims landed in Pl Plymouth Rock in 1620. Did you know that? How about that? No one's talking about this. I'm shocked. 400 years. Crazy stuff. That's right, right? Let's see. 720, 820, 920, 2020. 400 years. That's crazy. Who would have thought? And here we are. We're still eating. 400 years later, leave it to the Americans. <laughs> All, right. All right. Look, we did have dinner here on the ship. The skeleton crew and I, we did a little BYOB. Okay? Everybody brought something. Don't expect me to cook. I was in charge of what I'm in charge of whenever I go and visit the family. I bring the drinks and the booze. Okay? Let's do a little rundown of what we ate today. Oh, my God. I am stuffed. I'm surprised I'm not lethargic. I, I downed some coffee. Whew. All right, let's see. What do we have? Corn. Not off the cob. I have mine with a little butter. Okay, a lot of butter. A lot of salt. Stuffing with uh, spicy sausage. How about that, huh? Look, I, I, this is great. I'm going to be ruined for every other su stuffing if it doesn't have some sort of spicy sausage in it after this. Okay? It's going to be bland. It was amazing. Uh, sweet potato with marshmallow? Get it out of here. Absolutely not. I can't imagine. I, it's like the, the marshmallow is gooey enough and then you get into this starchy orange. No, absolutely not. Green beans? Skedaddle. I passed on the green beans. Look, that's the great thing about Thanksgiving. No one can be offended if you don't eat everything. It's like the one day you can eat at somebody's place, you know, and not be worried when you're passing on stuff. Uh, buttered croissant. Absolutely. Absolutely. Buttered croissant. Freshly baked. And if you don't mind, I'd like some of that spray margarine. I'm the kind of guy who's like, spritz the top, bite. Spritz the top, bite and so on, and so on. And let me have a couple extra on my plate that I'll never eat. Canned cranberry. <sighs> wow, what a disappointment that stuff is. What is even going on with that? No. However, minced cranberry with orange rind for a little zest. Magnifique. Magnifique. In fact, I'm all about it. I spread that stuff on, uh, you know, the man of the hour, if you know what I'm talking about. Screw the gravy. 
Just smear cranberry on her. Uh, what do we got? Spark. This is me. I brought this. I had to. I had to bring the booze. Okay. Sparkling grape juice. You can't get everybody wasted. Somebody's got to steer the ship. You got to give them an option. Uh, Behringer wine. Don't worry. I'm sure it was an excellent year. Maybe. Uh, Blue Moon Ale. What is it with Blue Moon Ale? It's like, hey, great. Let's have a nice stout beer and then squeeze an orange in it. And then when I was drinking, don't mind if I do, in fact. Angry Orange Cider. Are we allowed to have a drink or two? Come on, it's the holiday. Please. Where did my... Get out of here. Jeez. You want a bit of this? Are you old enough? All right. Uh, oh, God. Now we're, getting, now we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. Uh, Brussels sprouts with bacon. <laughs> what? What are you talking about? Brussels sprouts with bacon. That's a pass. Uh, broccoli, broccoli with melted Velveeta on it. Absolutely not. And pass it along. Somebody else is getting second. Somebody's getting lucky. Okay, whoever likes this, it's all yours. Red Jello mold. What? You ever seen that stuff gyrate? I can't imagine people eating that. Red Jello mold. It's always the same thing too. It looks like a wreath. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, black and green olives, no, no, no. Uh, gherkins, absolutely. You remember the gherkins, the little sweet pickles? Oh, my God. Could eat those for days. I wish I could stick those in an IV and just mainline them. Those are incredible. And, of course, finally, the man of the hour. Turkey. I'll take it dry. I'll pass on the gravy. There was gravy, too. Don't worry. Plenty of gravy to go around. A lot of people were just lopping it on there. I'll put a little on the mashed potatoes, which also was there, of course, mashed potatoes. Whew. Okay, can we ramp the show? Because, man, am I dialing it in? <laughs> it's a holiday, for God's sake. But I think we hit all the bases. That's a pretty pretty full list. I mean, I don't think we had it all. Turkey, cranberry, uh, potatoes, stuffing, you know, greens. What else do you have on Thanksgiving? That's literally everything. That you, it's checking all the boxes. You even had some, you know, flavor there to spice things up, you know? Hell of a feast. Hell of a feast. I hope yours was half as good. And nearly, and even close to as complete as that. Because I think we hit it all. Whew. Oh, boy. Anyway, what do you say? We play a game. Okay? We got some booty in the chest here. We'll get to that. All right? And, of course, over here, the bag that tells no tales, where you find people out there, stuff it up with comments, questions, and whatnots. For me to probably not even be able to answer that that's always wonderful when i just get utterly stumped all right <coughs> what are we playing well i thought in honor of uh, the pilgrims they were stuck in that boat for six weeks what do you say we ourselves embark on the same journey from london to boston okay we're not going to be pilgrims we're actually playing a guy who committed a murder in an opera house and in front of everybody, got out of it scot-free, and is now traveling <coughs> from London all the way to Boston. And you and I 
are going to experience the whole bloody journey. How about that, huh? We're playing Assassin's Creed 3. Wow, I forgot the game. I don't have a case. Oh, well. In fact, I, I don't have one. Now that I think about it, I hit here. You know what I do have? Is it right here? Let's see if I can grab it. Here you go. Here you go. Assassin's Creed, the America's Collection. Right there in the middle, Assassin's Creed 3. It's not important. There's 10 million of these, these games. We're not going to get into Assassin's Creed 3. Or any of them, for that matter. But I will say one thing. For all of the uh, bruises and uh, missteps that this series makes, they're chock full of history. So, we're going into the belly of a boat on its second day along this canal, canal route from London all the way to Boston. Let's see if we can survive the journey. All right. It's Assassin's Creed 3. You can play it on a myriad of systems. We decided to play it on the Xbox 360. Let's get started. All right. Let me give you a little bit of this. A little bit of atmosphere there. All right, here we are. We are an Englishman. We're in our quarters. Fierce, modest, at best. It's pretty stuffy down here. I think uh, the best thing we can do is head on up and get a look outside. All right, it looks like it's sunny out there. Let's head through. Can you imagine being stuck in a ship like this for six weeks? I gotta be honest, I could. I think I could. I think I could do it. Uh, I mean, look, it's just wood. You know, it's uh Oh, look, here's here's the uh the luggage area. New York. There's little numbers for every every uh person who's aboard where all this stuff's supposed to go when when we hit land. Okay? These guys are hanging around. Let's head on up to the ship. Let's head on up the deck and, and take a look at the water. Okay? Now, just a, a little uh, exposition on our friend here. Uh, this is Hayden Conway. Again, he is a hired assassin. And he is going to Boston on business for his little assassin organization. And he's just the night before committed a murder in an opera house. Obviously, no one aboard knows that. Beautiful, beautiful scenery here. Let's take a look outside. You getting queasy, pal? Hang in there. It's only day two. It's going to be a long journey. And then all will be well. Are you sure about that? Of course. Have I ever led you astray? Nah. Though you don't sit right with the others. Have faith, my friend. You'll see. Well, well. Seems our esteemed guest has deigned to grace us with his presence. You might want to head back to your quarters. Top deck's no place for tender parnells. <laughs> so I thought. And yet here you are. Oh. Fancy yourself a joker, eh? Let's see how funny you find this. Don't just fair. come for the sights. Stay out of this. Oh boy. Oh. Hey, come on, pal. It's Thanksgiving, for gosh sake. Leave me be. Alright, it's my turn. There you go. How'd that feel? Listen to this, Hector. Thinks he can swagger on up here and declare himself king of the castle. Please, man, call this off. If the captain sees to us. hell with the captain. And to hell with you, Mill. Who saw She's you watching your mouth. Oh. Yeah! <laughs> well, 
Are you ready to go? No, again? no you more. Will. This is unwise. What is that? You think I'm afraid of you? No. But you should be. Uh, uh. Give him a doubt on the That's enough. Do you yield? Whoa! Yeah. Dirty trick! Oh my god, he's got a blade. How do you like these odds? Oh. Oh. oh! Give me that. What's the meaning of this? Captain. Explain yourself at once, Mr. Kenway. These thought we were simply passing the time with a bit of sport, Captain. How about you pass the time by doing your goddamn Ooh. jobs instead? I wasn't aware I was paying you to loll about. A word, please, Mr. Kenway. Oh, I nearly forgot. There's your knife back. <coughs> dirty. Very dirty. I don't care for you, Mr. Kenway. I've had nothing but trouble since you came aboard. Your problems have nothing to do with me. I beg your pardon? You're a poor leader, ill-tempered and cruel, and it's clear your crew has no respect for you. Look, I don't want to argue. In fact, I need a favor. Oh, this is rich. loving this. I suspect some of the men intend to mutiny. Really? What a surprise. As I cannot trust any of them, I am compelled to turn to you. And why should I help you? Because if they do intend to betray, I'm the only hope you have of reaching America alive. Well, what will it be? If what you say is true, what other choice do I have? Thank you. But let me be clear. Should you ever dare to insult or threaten me again, I'll not hesitate but to cut off your head myself. Are we understood? Excellent. Good day. I said good day, sir. Did you see the look in the captain's eyes? Very creeped out. Alright, let's get a little shut eye here. Head back down into the bay. Now, this guy here is actually playing uh, an old uh, 16th century game called uh, Fanaro? Fan Fanaroa, maybe? I don't remember what it's called. Am I going the wrong way? Okay. The quarters are back this way. Pretty neat stuff. Uh, one of my favorite things about this series is they, they have board games in them from, uh, from history. Actual board games. Which means you can just play them forever. The game's very good about breathing, showing you, you know, all of the time it took that you just had to waste sitting in that vessel, just rocking back and forth day after day. Looks like he's making some notes, just trying to... Just trying to keep himself occupied. That was day two on their journey. A month passes. Mutiny's rumbling. Captain is looking for our help. To quail. Mr. Kenway. Captain? Whatever they're up to, I believe it's coming to a head. I'd best get to work. I absolutely like this guy. I, I realize he's a hired killer. But uh, I just think he's got a really good look. He's got a rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. It's not right that you should feast on lamb and wine. Whilst we're stuck with tinned fish and biscuits. Someone needs to have words with him. Mills tried. Captain turned him away. 
Then he must try again with more force if need be. Mills, I, I think that guy. I think that was the guy who was trying to break up the, the, uh, end, so the fist the fight. You're not it's evening on the boat. You can hear from all the singing here. Won't hardly take his hat off. Keeps his face in too. Quiet. Here he comes. Sailor's trying to while away the hours. Ooh, is this a little arm wrestling game over here? Hmm. Interesting. Let's see, I got the blue guy. And the blue hat, let's see. If I lose, I'll drink. If I win, I drink. How about that, huh? Let's see. Oh, it looks like I'm drinking. Oh, it's good. That cider is excellent. Oh. Let's see what this guy in the barrel is saying. We gotta drum up some uh, some information on the mutiny. You there? I have some questions for you. That's nice, but I ain't got time to gossip. Probably wouldn't have anything useful to share anyway. You want information? Try the cook or the doctor. Everyone's always chatting them up. Oh, the guy who's carving up. Uh... The, the food or the guy who's carving up the crew? I think we're going to go for the chef. I'm pretty sure he's uh, over here in the galley. Besides, this way we can go toward all the singing. <laughs> no women on the ship, apparently. <laughs> How do they decide who leads? Hey, is this the guy who broke up the fight? I think it is. Let's talk to him. Quite the basting you gave Graves and Quill. Wasn't by choice. Aye. Blockheads, the both of them. Where are my manners? Louis Mills. Pleased to meet you. Hatham Kenway. So, should I be watching my back? I think the boys learned their lesson. They're normally not so nasty. Honest, it's just the past few crossings have been a bit rough. Oh? Captain's trying to cut costs, reduce rations, lower wages, more dangerous cargo. It's put the crew on edge. Is there cause for concern, then? Not if I can help it. But the captain needs to think about the way he treats his men. Hmm. Looks like we have ourselves a, uh, an ally. <laughs> Let's head over to the galley. Should be uh, right around this area. Oh yeah, here's the livestock. He's got to be close. What's it? What's for dinner? What? No turkey? Oh, bogus. Oh, that's got to be him. Won't be serving for another couple hours. Some biscuits, biscuits in the barrel if you're desperate. Actually, I've come with a question. What's that? Have any of the men been acting strange recently? Said anything that struck you as out of the ordinary? The boys cry about the rations, as if there's anything I can do about it. But beyond that, I ain't heard much. My advice? Go find James. His ears are always open. And where might I find him? Right behind you, actually. He's the one sitting on the barrel. hanging up here oh man dinner <laughs> hey take a look at your future over there guys Ugh. guy in the barrel huh here's james are you james hi hatham kenway pleased to meet you i know who you are i was hoping you could answer some questions I figured as much, but not here. Follow me. So what do you want to know? Have you seen or heard anything out of the ordinary since we left port? Anything that gives cause for concern? Some of the men have been gathering at night on the upper deck. I've only caught bits of their conversations, so I couldn't say for certain what they're up to. But I suspect it bodes ill. Is it a mutiny they're planning? 
All I know is they've little love for the captain. Mills has been trying to talk them down, but there's only so much one man can do. Thank you for the information. I only wish to see us reach the colonies alive. Hmm. Hmm. Talk of mutiny. Never a good thing when you're stuck on a boat with a bunch of men for another five weeks. Oh. What do you say we take a look at the, uh, the back end and just take in the, the, the horizon here? There's not much to see but water. But hey, who doesn't love water? Evening, sir. How are things? Calm and quiet. Just the way I like it. What brings you topside? Thought I'd wander a bit. Stretch my legs. That's all. Say care where you tread. The deck hides all manner of danger in the dark. What was that? What was that? Someone's throwing cargo overboard. But why? Hmm. Could be a lead. Let's get down there. He's got our rations again. Claims we're not provisioned for such luxuries. This is the back of the boat. It's on this barrel here. dropping stuff out well we don't have to worry about that right now we're gonna have have to leave our friend for now mr. Conway he's gonna have some sleep we on the other hand we've got a chest open it's hard to hold the controller oh we'll return to this in just a moment all right assassin's creed 3 wow pretty intriguing huh i mean this is the kind of stuff you do thanksgiving night you're full right you're you're uh basted <laughs> is the is the the galleyman said oh no that wasn't the galleyman as mills said you just want to sit back and watch something interesting. So we'll come back to uh, Hayden in just in a little bit. What do you guys say? We crack open the old chest, huh? Sound like fun? There's something in here, baby, and I think we did okay. I think we did all right. Let's check it out. So uh, we got an Xbox One uh, a while back. We got it for 20 bucks, And we just recently were palling around with it. For the first time i can't believe that we have for twenty dollars something that we can just plug into the the tv plug into the wall and we're full on streaming it we're sharing the game with others you don't even have to pay online to do that that's insane to me i really thought you'd have to pay a service you don't so it's been very exciting the only thing is we were a little hurting for software we didn't have any. I think we had one game, uh, Indivisible, that I got uh, at a GameStop once for like five bucks, and I never played it. However, they are out there. Uh, the new Xbox uh, just came out about a month ago, which means everyone's dumping their old one. So we're right in the sweet spot for finding good deals on Xbox One games. But I didn't expect us to find a deal this good. I went into a pawn shop. Okay, we've been to this one before. We haven't been to a lot of pawn shops lately. Our hours have changed at work. Mine have. The hours of the pawn shops uh, have changed as well. So I don't get out there very often at all. But lucky 
for us after months of not going to this place. We just happened to go at the right time. I swear, the right time. I walked in, and there were signs on the door and on the video game rack that said, All video games, all video games, one dollar a piece. Now, most of this was picked through, okay? But there was a whole bunch of PS4 and Xbox One games. The PS4, we have plenty of those. We've had a PS4 for years. We had zero Xbox One games. And here's a, 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 like three racks of them for a buck. A lot of them were just like utterly nothing, sports, but... We got about a dozen games here that we got for a buck each. We we added them all up. We I think we pulled about eight of them off the shelf. Brought them up. The guy's like, these are a dollar? And this other lady who I guess works there has some issue with this. But the manager was gone that day. The acting manager, this guy's only been there... He was only there for the day. He's like, I don't care. This sign says $1. She's like, that's not, that can't be $1. They're Xbox One games. He's like, look, this, I don't know what to tell you. This is how it is today. That's what the sign says. We're doing it. And that's what he did. So not only did we get games off the rack, then I asked him to, to, if we could check in the book of all the loose Xbox One games. And we picked some of those too. All right? Let's check them out. Xbox One games for a buck. I'm so in on this. All right. What's this one? Titanfall 2. Titanfall 2. Uh, this one probably retails almost for a dollar. Probably a $5 game, to be honest. But I'm not going to pay $5 for a game that's $5 all day. Okay? One dollar, I'll pay. I believe the story is you're uh, 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 some sort of space marine who comes across some sort of uh, sentient uh, mech, and you can get in inside to fight the mech uh, with the mechs, or you can get out of it. It's a first-person shooter, uh, very high-tech stuff, probably way beyond uh, my capabilities, but uh, I hear it's pretty good. At least the one player campaign. That's what I hear. Okay? Alright, what's next? Uh, here's one that's completely useless to us uh, Fallout 76. Why is this useless to us? This is like a huge open world. Uh, Fallout's a pretty household name among gamers. It's post apocalyptic. There was a big war. Uh, you know, now you're scavenging. The land to, to make makeshift weapons, makeshift weapons, uh, survive, uh, you know, radiated monsters, okay? Meet interesting people along the way. However, this particular game was designed for multiplayer, and there is no offline one-player mode unless you're willing to pay an additional fee. And guess who's not? This is basically, uh, hold on, let me put this underneath my cider, okay? There you go, let's just dump that in there, all right. Okay, oh, here, now this one, I've already gotten a dollar's worth of. Uh, I played this one with uh, my sister, okay, live. We played this streaming. Not only did myself and her enjoy it, but, uh, you know, some friends along the way got to watch us play this. Uh, yeah, it's multi. It's it's basically a multiplayer game, but there is offline two-player split-screen action going on here. Is it like the most robust campaign ever? No, not really, not at all. In fact, but there's a lot of weapons to choose from, a lot of choices as to how you want to go and, and beat up the stormtroopers, and you're sitting side by side with a friend for a buck. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. I think there were other moves, modes we didn't even try. Pretty cool. Pretty cool for a buck. All right. 
Uh, what's this? All right, here's the Lucy's. These were the ones that weren't on the shelf. But again, if you're in this kind of scenario and you see stuff on the shelf and they're selling it in a pawn shop cheap, it's always a good idea to say, hey, can I take a look? As the, Because, you know, they don't leave the discs on the shelf. They leave the cases on the shelf. You bring the cases up. Then they have to pull out this big Bible-like book and flip through it to get the discs, to insert them in the case. That's your in to find the games that other people would have bought if they were on the shelf, but didn't because they didn't ask. So I said, look, can I look through the book for more dollar Xbox One games without a case? He said, all right. What have we got here? Doom. Okay. I'm on that for a buck. I'm on that for a buck. This is like, you know, a vanilla version. Worth practically nothing. But for a guy who has no Xbox One games, we'll take a totally over-the-top, excellently made first-person shooter. I'm going to be honest, I'm a bit of a chicken. I don't know if I'd be... This is a really gory game. I'd probably play it, though. Plus, you can stream it! Think about it! You can stream all these games! Unbelievable! I know! Right, okay, hold on. Sweetheart, sweetheart. He got in. He got into the, the blue moon. There you go. All right, you're doing great. Oh boy. Oh, it's yeah. It's all about you now. I get it. What's this? Shadow of Mordor. Uh, you know, a lot of Space Marine stuff on the Xbox One. Tolkien. I'm I'm re-listening to uh, the 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 uh, Lord of the Rings trilogy on audiobook cassette in my car on commutes and long trips right now. I'm not sure how hot I'd be on this one. Uh, it seems like it's very dark. I mean, when are we going to make the open world, uh, you know, game where you're just bopping around the Shire? But, that being said, a lot of innovation uh, happening here, especially with the combat system and the uh, enemy ranking system. A lot of content here for a buck. What else we got here? Tomb Raider, wow. Wow. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition. I haven't played this one. I bet I'd be all about this. I bet I'd be all about this adventure. You're, you're on an island, I think. There's caves and treasures and, you know, uh, geographical dangers. You're hopping pits. There's intrigue. Wow. Quite an adventure right there. That's great stuff. And then finally for the Lucy's, Fallout 4, a game people have been trying to get me to play for years. Is this going to make it happen? Uh, I sincerely doubt it. But this is uh, definitely making up for the Fallout 76. I wasn't sure about Fallout 76. I was thinking maybe there's a one player to that. I knew there was some sort of politics going into it. I knew you couldn't do one player when it was released, but it's been a year or so. Maybe two. I thought maybe like Battlefront, Star Wars Battlefront, they had fixed that. Of course, apparently, no, they're not going to do that for us. But Fallout 4 will do the deed just fine. And I believe this takes place in uh, Boston, strangely enough. All right. Uh, another case game here. Mirror's Edge Catalyst. You're, uh, I believe, uh, like, uh, I don't know what her thing is she like a reporter or uh, uh, some sort of revolutionary I have no idea but I, what I do know is she uh, hops and jumps from building to building all over this big open world city I think the first one was kind of uh, linear this one is far less linear and it's got a very interesting uh, art style I think most of the world is white with red accents you can kind of tell that from the case here. Not a bad little adventure for a buck. Let's look at the inside here. There you go. An exciting Plants vs. Zombies. Uh, leaflet. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, here we go. My, uh, Mass Effect Andromeda. It's just a big universe with different planets and aliens 
and there's a, a spaceship, and, th and then you're going down to the atmosphere, the, the, the surface of these planets, and then you're just blowing away m massive aliens together. It's just a, a massive one-player uh, campaign. How far will you go? In, in It says on the back of the box, probably not at all. But we have the option. Okay, all right. Little racing here, the crew. The crew, I think this was uh, practically a launch game for the system. Good to see we have a racing game in here. Uh, from what I understand, you can race across the country in kind of an open world scenario of sorts. I think there were online components, but generally are. But you can play this offline. You can play this one player. And to be honest, that's what I was looking for when I was digging through these one player these one dollar games games that i knew i could get online I, I could play by myself or with a friend on the couch and stream them and i think we we did okay so here's one of them okay lots of cars to collect you're running around driving around i think it takes like 15 minutes to get across the the, the entire united states man i wish my commute was like that good all right uh and finally I would say this is uh, just a little taste of retro. Something you could just plug in and play. A lot of these games, you know, it seems like you'd have to have a real time investment just to get started. Um, but this one you can pop in, play for 15 minutes and feel like you've accomplished something. Geometry Wars, Dimensions, a twin stick shooter. Very basic graphics, but uh, looks really sweet and uh, certainly easy to play and get into initially and this appears to be four player four player offline so that's neat good that we have one little party game here okay so that's it one two three four five six seven eight all right I think I'm missing one. What's this? Fallout 76? Does this even count? Did I say 12? Oh, here's two more. Okay, 11. My mistake. 11, not 12. 11. But yeah, I mean, you got fantasy action RPG here. You got some heavy shooters, a lot of science fiction stuff, open world stuff, racing, uh, you know, competitive, just some twin stick shooting, some retro shooting. What a great deal. 11 games, all streamable, all looking beautiful on our system where we had no games for 11 bucks. I think we did all right. Not too bad at all. All right, let's get back to it, man. Look, we're, we got 3,300 miles to cover before we hit Boston, okay? Let's get back to uh, Assassin's Creed for... Uh, the Xbox 360, okay? Last time we uh, left uh, Colton here, we were seeing some uh, barrels dropped out of the back of the ship. What was that all about? Let's check it out. Let's see if we can learn more, okay? All right, let's do it. Day 33. Day 33. Any news? Each night it's the same. I scout one area, and they drop the painted barrels from another. I'm going to need to recruit an extra pair of eyes. Maybe James or Mills. Why are they doing this? Near as I can tell, the barrels serve as markers. They're leaving a trail. My fear is it's only a matter of time before whoever's following it... Ship sighted aft! She's making ready Whoa. to fire! Beat to quarters, men! Ready the... Brace. Down! Everybody down! A warning shot. Seems they don't mean to sink us, but board us instead. Man the cannons! Make ready to fight! I want you below decks. Why? 
Let me help you secure the ship. Do you know how to rig a sail? To load a cannon? To wage war at sea? I didn't think so. Now return to your cabin. Or do I need to have you escorted? Mm. It's not Secure the hatch! He's trapped like a red cage. Hate him. Have you been topside? A ship's appeared and means to board us. But it's strange. There's no sign of mutiny aboard. Doesn't make sense. Ah, but it does. What do you mean? Did you think you could escape from London so easily after what you did at the opera? That we wouldn't notice? That we wouldn't follow? Ah. So that's what this is about. Surrender, and I will see that you are treated with honor. If you wish to treat me with honor, give me a sword. Are you sure this is how you want to play it? How about the... Disarmed! Oh man! <laughs> it didn't take much. I told you to stay below decks. I did as you asked. Only Mills was there waiting for me. He's the one that drew that ship here. There was no mutiny. Only him. What do they want? Me. Then they can have you. Is that so? You'll catch us anyway. There's nothing to be done. I can think of something. You wish us to sail into the storm? It's our only chance. I won't do it. And then I will. All right. All right. Jesus. Into the storm. Arm yourself. I'll fix your sail for you. We better get this done quick. Ooh. Not only is the ship in trouble, but the voyage is in trouble. We're way over time. We got five minutes left. Get off the rigging. Secure that tackle. We are not doing well on time. Check for loose straps. It looks like most of these guys have this have the, the ropes ready. We're just trying to find one that's unmanned. These look tight. Looking pretty good over here. Oh, here. Hold on. Come on. Come on, Colton. Tighten the bindings. Oh, my God. Another one. I'll get it. There it is. Passing oh down my god. The How is he keeping his hat on? We need more speed. Epoxy, that thing. Loose the sails. Hate them. You take the foremast. James, to the main mast with you. Whoa, up there? Heave on those aft lines. Heave. Oh, Going up. See it. Oh no! Hold on. Oh gosh. I'm panicking. <laughs> Don't panic. Fasten down the hatches. There we go. Okay, careful. Careful, steady, steady, don't panic, don't panic, we gotta cut the line to free the sail. Oh 
almost fell right overboard there. Can you imagine? Whoa! James! Oh my gosh. I think I saw this in a Hallmark movie once. I see him, I see him! There he is! Oh my god, he's hanging by a thread. Alright. Hold on to your butts! One, two, three! Oh my gosh. C'est la vie. Day 72. We have two minutes left in the voyage. Are we going to make it? I doubt it. <laughs> We're going over! <laughs> There's only about 45 minutes of gameplay left, right? Have a drink. Have seconds. I really like this scene. He's just like, I gotta get off this boat. Uh oh. What are we seeing? What is it? Of course. Look at all these guys. They are just dead. In the, they are so done. Should we check? <laughs> Let's check the livestock. It's been 72 days. Ah! <laughs> I guess he's on the dinner menu. <laughs> Excellent. There's the captain. Look at this big bell. That's really neat. I love the bell. Make ready for our arrival, men! Arrival? I see no land, only this interminable fog. The gulls tell us all we need to know. Climb into the crow's nest and you'll see. Crow's nest? Oh boy. Alright, let's do it. Look at all the weathering on this ship, man. What a beautiful, beautiful setting. Careful. Careful. We're almost there. Boston. We made it. We made it. Well, we have to say goodbye. I want to thank you for stopping by today for our adventure across the water and across the Silicon Seas. I hope uh, you had a good day, whether you're inside or outside of America. And I hope wherever you are on every day, you're giving thanks to what you have. For me, I had a lot of things to be thankful for. I mean, what did I have? Turkey, cranberries, uh, mashed potatoes, everything that you eat on Thanksgiving. We had it all. We didn't miss one single thing on the list for Thanksgiving. We did it right. We'll see you soon. Not sure where, not sure when, but I know one thing for sure, wherever we go, we're gonna go there together. So until next time, my friends. I'll what I do to ye fair Spanish maidens. I'll what I do 
Ye ladies of Spain, for we received orders for to give thanks on Thanksgiving. And lo, nevermore shall we see ye again. You didn't think I forgot the pumpkin pie, did you? Well, that's giving thanks. Keep your powder dry, maybe.